Temperatures are soaring in Dubai, but it's raining discounts in the hospitality industry, from Marriott and Armani to Millennium, Imar and the Intercontinental Hotel Groups. Almost every property in Dubai has been offering discounts. Now this is great news for guests, but really, are properties able to convert this into revenue or is it a race to the bottom? I'm Priyanka Praveen and you're watching What's Trending on Hotelier Middle East. Welcome back to the show. Several hotel properties have been offering huge discounts in the last few weeks. The Intercontinental Hotel Group, for instance, launched a 5-day 50% flash sale for its loyalty members, followed by a 20% global sale. In Mars latest property, Vida Emirates Hills is offering a 50% of the best available room rate, while other properties such as the Armani Hotel Dubai, Millennium Hotels and Resorts, and even Marriott offer discounts between 20 to 30%. Dubai summers have often been characterized by low demand levels and as such, discounts are quite normal around this season. But why are certain properties offering heavier discounts? Shedding some light on this is Philip, the senior consultant from Tri Consulting. He said, this year with Ramadan moving into spring, the period of low demand is gradually increasing. This is prompting hotels to offer special deals and discounts to maintain occupancy and mitigate the overbearing burden of fixed costs. Hotels with larger room inventories carry a heavier fixed cost burden and are prone to offer heavier discounts. He says it all comes back to yield strategy. During period of low demands, hotels discount their rates to maintain occupancy levels. As a consequence, profit margins are lower. But again, this is nothing new as it has always been the case during lower demand periods. So why do properties come up with huge summer sales? Now, summer has always been hard to strategize in the UAE. And this year, other hot climate destinations that have been deemed safe for tourism are competing with the UAE at lower rates. Inevitably, hotels need to drive occupancy during this time and discount strategies help them do that. On the other hand, experts say that supply is forecasted to outweigh demand for the next three years in Dubai. So more hotels are relying on stronger discounting and marketing campaigns to achieve their fair share. So how do hoteliers check if these sales are incremental revenue or demand they would have received anyway? Speaking about this was Caroline Thyssen, Radisson's Senior Area Director of Sales and Revenue, Middle East and Africa. According to her, the success of the discount is done by checking market share. Are UAE hotels claiming more than their fair share of business? If the answer is yes, then the strategy is right. Now, all discounts are not bad. Some can work in the favor of the property, but really, it all comes down to being clever with it. Mohammed Avdallah, the CEO of Time Hotels, believes that one should be intelligent while giving out discounts. He said, it's important to factor in all the operational costs, whether it's electricity, staffing or water. Hotels need to stick to decent rates or these drop in prices will definitely affect profits. While Philip added, instead of blindly discounting rates, revenue managers should curate these sales and deals to appeal to specific guest profiles and therefore attract the right segments to their hotels. An example of this could be the deals offered for wedding parties during summer periods. These allow hotels to attract a number of guests at a discount while ensuring that they will have a higher overall spend during their stay, which in turn generates profits. Again, discounts are great for guests. But with the summer months notoriously being a season of low demand, the bigger question is this. Are hoteliers displacing revenue with their discount strategies? That's the key question and one that is difficult to answer. But if there is something you have to say about this topic, please comment on our videos. And while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, check our website for all hospitality related news and follow us on social media. Thank you for watching this episode. We will see you next week.